What's up YouTube? Um, it's been almost two weeks since I made a video. Uh, you know, I had, uh, I'm not picking up any, you know, new sub books or whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, books that come out every week. I uh, stopped doing that and I have stuck to that right now. Um, so I basically have a really small stack uh, of books, like maybe 10 books that I'm going to show in this video. And uh, that's about it, because um, I'm actually getting married in a few hours. Uh, in about five hours, I'll be getting married. Four or five hours, whatever it is. I don't know what time it is right now. Okay, five hours. <laughs> I I will be getting married. And I figured I'd do this, because, uh, you know, after I'm getting married, I'm leaving for a couple weeks to go on my honeymoon. And uh, I'm not going to be back for a while. I do have books coming in the mail and whatnot. Uh, and then that, um, that actually be mailed out, but I won't be here to get them. So I'm going to be, I want to have to pick them up when I get back. Also, when I get back, I'll have my CG, uh, CBCS submissions from the, uh, the Northeast Comic Con, I think it is. Yeah, yeah it was Northeast Comic, Comic Con. They're supposed to be shipping them out, um, which I told them to hold them for me until I get back. So, uh, yeah, so I should have a, a, a nice little, uh, uh, video of books um, when I get back from my honeymoon. I'm, I'm getting back on July 4th, so hopefully later that week I'll make a video. But uh, yeah, so I just wanted to make this video before I left, get these books out of the way so I can put them, you know, put them away and everything. And before I leave, and so my house is a mess when I'm gone. So in case uh, someone breaks in, I'll, I'll have a nice clean house. Okay, so uh, I actually found I went to a Walmart. Um, around my house and I actually found some of those uh, packs of uh, comics. Uh, I found two of them they had left and I grabbed both. So these were the ones that actually uh, I believe what they Walmart reprinted. Um, you can tell by the UPC. Um, it's a different UPC than the regular book. And this is the what's on the cover like you can see what book you can actually see. So I, I guess this is what oh Detective Comics number one. Let's grab it. So that's what was on the cover, in the front of one of the packets, and then this was the other one, Justice League, uh, number one, which would be cool if it was original. You know, I, I do have a couple of those already though, but it is the Walmart thing? Maybe this will even be rarer than the regular one. I, I don't know how many of these were printed, but they do have regular books on the inside. Um, they have the; these are actually regular first printings. Um, so these are the ones I got in the two packs. I got Superman Wonder Woman number one, which I did not have. That's very cool. I already have this. Uh, Superman Unchained number one. I think I might even have two or three copies of that. And that's cool, though. Uh, and I did not have this because I don't buy Batman Superman, but it's number 16. This is the, the Lego variant. So, And then I do have this already, but it's cool to have an extra one. Um, Batman number 41. This is like... Uh, um, some kind of like first appearance or something like that. Um, there's something about this book 41 I can't remember right now. Uh, so that's everything I got in the Walmart packs. So that's pretty cool that I found them. Um, I didn't think they were out in the East Coast, but I guess they are. So I am going to be doing some searching for them uh, uh, at other Walmart because I stopped at another Walmart and they didn't have them. But uh, maybe they will later. So. But I just want to show this. I picked this up a while ago. Um, it's the Rachel Rising 42. It's the last issue. So I'm pretty sure it's the last issue. Um, so I did say I had it. I just didn't show it, I don't believe. So that is the last issue. That's so I have every issue. I'm hoping soon. Um, I, I ordered the Omnibus. Um, that Only 750 of them were done. And they're supposed to be signed and everything like that. Uh, I did order that. So um, I guess... I won't be getting that until after I get back. So uh, then I got a couple. I think I might have shown this one already, but um, I'm just going to show it now again, just in case. Uh, this is from the Collector Core box, uh, Black Panther. I just cut it out of the bag and put it in the mylar. So uh, I just want to show it, just in case I didn't. Now I know I didn't show this one because I just got this one. Um, this is uh, all new X Men number nine. This is the uh, Comic-Con box exclusive, which I just got a Comic-Con box this past week, uh, which I, I guess I'll show at the end uh, what came in that box. Um, 
you know what, why don't I just show that now before I show these last three books. Um, so I got that book in there. Um, I did have a t-shirt, but unfortunately, I, well, not unfortunately, I already wore it already, and it's, I, I think it's in a wash right now. Uh, but, uh, so I won't show that, but I'll tell you what it was. It was a black shirt. It had Abe Lincoln on the cover with his hair done up like Wolverine. And he had it, um, and he had the claws out, you know, and it said, uh, what was it called? What did it say on the bottom? Um, oh my God, I can't remember what it said on the bottom, but, you know, I can probably tell you from the, uh, the card they give you in here, Evolver, it said Evolver on it. Actually, I can show you what it looked like. I try not to show you other stuff. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I don't think you can. My room's so dark here, let me see. There you go. So it looked like that. Okay, so what else came in the box? Um, it came with a pop figure, as usual. Usually it come with one. It's a Super Mutant from Fallout, which is very cool. I love Fallout. Um, I actually haven't even played that far into it, really. I just got sidetracked and haven't been able to play it. But this is a... Uh, um, I am starting to pick up the games. I just started playing The Witcher 3 again. Uh, but uh, and I just bought the uh, the Blood and Wine expansion for that. But yeah, so uh, I plan to play that also. Start playing that after I get back from my honeymoon because my girl's going to go back to work. Um, and I'm going to relax for another two months until I start back to school. But yeah, so I got that. That's pretty cool. Let me put that over here. Um, and then this came in there and I was like, well, well, first I got this, which is very, very cool. I was, uh, I thought this is awesome. It's uh, the Turtles. Um, it's a uh, can hugger. So, that's pretty cool. I guess you get, um, you, you can have a chance of getting each of them. Um, so, well, that's awesome. Um, I, I actually probably will use this. You know, a lot of the stuff in these boxes, I just put back in a box and I put the box in the garage or something like that. Or, you know, if it's a figure, I'll display it or something. But uh, most of the stuff I don't really use. But this, actually, I will use. So that was pretty cool to get. So we'll put that over there. Let's put that there. Oh, whatever. Put it there. And then this one, I was like, okay. What? I guess I'll, I, I, I kind of want to... <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But it's a Turtles Water Grow. So basically... You put this in water, and the little turtle on the inside will expand to fit his shell. So I kind of want to open it to use it, <laughs> you know, to do it. My girlfriend was laughing at me, uh, saying that I have a little toy that I can play with in the bathtub. <laughs> you know, so I guess she's kind of right, but I ain't going to do it in the bathtub. But yeah, so, yeah, I guess it just grows up. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that, that was pretty cool though. Uh, and the last thing is a print. Um, you know, I used to think you were supposed to get something signed in this. When I first started getting this box, I thought you were supposed to get signed, something signed. I, I don't know why, because I did get something a signed photo before from a con. But this is just another print, um, which I don't, I, I don't have anything to do with these prints. You know, so it's kind of a waste. Um, who knows, maybe I'll give them away and, uh, uh, give a bunch of these prints away when I do, uh, my 500 sub thing, if I ever reach 500 subs. Uh, so I'm, uh, I am going to do a contest if I do reach it. Um, but yeah, so, I, I don't know, but I'll do something with it. Um, and that's it. Uh, like I said, the t-shirt, um, I don't have to show you guys, but i show you the picture. But okay, so yeah, um... So the last three books. Now I got these two books because um, one I've been wanting them for a while. I paid twenty dollars for the two of them, or nineteen ninety nine, and I think it was free shipping. So, uh, but I wanted it for the Boston Comic Con because I, I'm going to have them signed. Uh, but I have wanted them for a while. Uh, it's Graphic Music Number One, Mike Allred there, and Number Two. So I got the two of them. Um, and I'm going to have them, I'm going to have to have them pressed, I think, before. I'm going to try to uh, get them out before the Comic-Con happens. This one actually looks okay, but I know the first one here has a little, has some wrinkling down there. So, 
But yeah, so uh, I got the two of them. And now the last book. I already have this book, and I already have it signed and uh, graded and everything, but I bought another one just because I love the series so much. And also, I re um, I can't remember who did it. The uh, Oh my God, Undisputed Frost, I think, was there. There, there was like four guys. Um, I can't remember the name of their channel when they do these things, but uh, they had the author on the thing, so... Uh, Cursed Pirate Girl, number one. This is another first printing. Um, and this one's actually signed already uh, by Jeremy Batch. And I only paid um, 50 or $60 for it, something around there, which I thought was good. It's a lot less than I paid for my first one. Um, and my original one, actually, you know what? I have it right here. Uh, my original one that I had signed myself, you know, came back at a 9.8. So, and he signed right there. So I'm probably gonna have him, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, instead, so I don't have to get the uh, the red label for the signature. I'm probably gonna wait until I see him again. I don't know what a con he'll be, I'll be going to, that he'll be at. Um, maybe he'll be at the New York Comic Con again. Who knows, maybe he'll be at the Boston Con, I doubt it though. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have him sign it again and just get the yellow label. But this is actually, I mean, this is, I would say, definitely a 9.8 also. And what was cool about this was when I was unbagging it to put it in, into a Mylar, uh, I found on the back of the board it was sent in, which I just stuck in the behind my fullback. Um, the, the guy had wrote, uh, wrote where it was signed at. Signed by Jeremy Bastian at C2E2 on April 14th, 2012. So that was a, you know, a few years ago. Um, but yeah, so I got that another copy. I'm gonna try to start picking up the uh, the later printings and stuff for these books. And of course, I'm you know I'm always on the lookout for voices. Uh, it's just impossible to find one. And I have been searching and searching. I, I've, I mean, I looked on eBay. I've looked on you know everywhere I can think of. I've just never seen one. Uh, if anyone ever sees one, shoot me a message right away. Um, uh, Cause you know. <laughs> I really want it bad and uh, yeah so I finally got that you know before I go uh, I just got an email last week saying this that I, I had something being shipped that was shipped you know what it was it's this this statue from dynamite I pre-ordered it over a year ago and they told and they sent me an email a year ago saying that um, because of production is, uh, issues or whatever, that they weren't going to be able to ship them out. They had because um, they sent them all back or something like that. That same week, I went to a convention up here, and I bought this one right here for cheaper than what I pre-ordered it for. I bought this. I have it already. Now a year later, they're going to charge my credit card and send me another one of these a year later I don't why are they sending I mean they told me they couldn't do it and that now they're gonna send me one I don't want it now you know so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that um, it's already done so it's not I mean I, there's already been shipped out to me so I, I thought it was done with I had no idea they were still planning to ship me one um, but yeah so oh I'll, I'll keep you guys uh, update on that once I get in the mail and everything like that and I'm gonna have to call them and see what they can do um, but yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you when I get back from my honeymoon. Bye.